Because we didn't do anything to her. She just lashed out at us. You, you're racist as What the Hate on display oh for the holidays. So this could happen to anybody else. Oh my God. Oh, roll the window up. That car door slammed on the foot of 20-year-old Emora Robertson. She's the one filming. The woman on camera can be seen holding a knife and yelling the N-word at a black family during the parking lot dispute. Exactly what really trying to stab him. What's just up? because. No, I ain't yeah, you stabbed are. and it's called something yeah. does, you stupid yeah. Who the you calling it? My daughter was asleep and she woke up crying to some lady screaming at us. The video on Robertson's Facebook page is sparking outrage. She says she was out shopping with her boyfriend, aunt, and 15-month-old daughter. She says the woman was angry Robertson's aunt had parked too close to her car. Keyswan Goodyear says the slurs started immediately. Who are you talking to? Like, don't be talking to me like that. And I'm not trying to do that because everybody around me is white. When the woman confronted them, Robertson says she slapped Goodyear and spit on him. That's when Robertson says the woman pulled her weapon. You, you're racist as I wasn't really frightened for myself, but I mean, my daughter was in the car and I had told her that previously, like my daughter's in the car, can you please leave? And she just kept saying, I don't care. And yeah, so that kind of frightened me because she didn't care there was a child in the car. Robertson filmed for about a minute before everyone got back into their cars. You know, I was trying to not escalate the situation and try to remove myself and get out of there because I didn't, I don't know what's going to happen. A bunch of white officers coming my way and I'm the only black person. I don't know what could happen to me. Hell no, no, it's not worth it, man. We're in a white town. On Facebook, Robertson wrote, racism is alive and here, right where we live. She can go to jail, whatever the case might be. Yeah. But something definitely needs to happen because she just got away with it. Well, uh, we know tonight that she didn't get away with it. That was Maggie Vespa reporting there. And we can tell you that Rocco was transported to the Yamhill County Jail on $55,000 bail.